You want to safeguard your health, maximize your immune system, grow muscle, and lose fat faster? Rover Immune is not herbs and spices. It's not a proprietary blend. It's patented. It's a one-of-a-kind product. It's backed by science from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Rova is a protein antibody. It's different. It's real science and gets real results. Check us out at Prova.com. I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work and are backed by science. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body. And that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. We use only top-of-the-line formulations dosed for maximum results and the best flavoring systems available. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to Iron Rage. I'm Dave Palumbo here with Lee Priest, as always. And Lee, you're looking very hippie-ish today, I may, may I uh, say, in that tie-dye shirt you have. What does it say on it? Oh, you're a violent hippie. Violent hippie. That's a scary and thing. Just, as I was waiting, Dave, I can see why this world is fucked up. Let, let me just give you a couple of headlines here from the news feed. First one, Sweden says sex is good for public health and your own well-being as long as you're i don't click on it but it has a picture of a grapefruit with something stuck in it uh -oh. who knew kai green was visiting sweden right now <laughs> down further aspiring rapper sent a vile message to his mother's child oh. Miriam, the actress on being a sex symbol oh my god uh, here we have sex workers have issued a list of safe sex positions to stick to during the pandemic. Now, this is on the main news what, feed. Lee, what, is, what are the safe sex positions during the pandemic, just out of curiosity? Well, I reckon, I reckon if you fucking hit them in the back of the head with a hammer and kill them, you can fuck them, you can fuck them any way you want because they can't breathe on you. <laughs> no, that, that's dead. probably not viable because uh, you go to jail oh. for that. What, what's, uh, no, could, what are they recommending? Bury their, bury, bury their head in the sand like an emu so their ass is up and then... <laughs> what, what is the CDC recommending that you're reading or whatever they're, whoever is recommending this? Hold on. Is this Hold Dr. On. Ruth Westheimer? Is she, is she the one recommending these positions? Sex workers have issued a list of pandemic here. As other businesses reopen, blah, 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 Swiss sex workers have developed a plan for their reopening. When they say reopening, do they mean they're reopening their legs or their fucking assholes? Or, I'm not sure. Here, here. The plan includes guidelines outlining the least risky sexual positions for brothels during work for them, oh, including, hmm. including doggy style. I figured that was one. one. Doggy style is great because they're breathing that way. That's right. Got, right. It's not cross-contamination. If you've got, you got an ugly missus, you don't have to look at her fucking face. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't, Lee, you don't Cowgirl. want to be breathed on, but, 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 but penetration has nothing, you know, nothing to do with catching the virus, evidently, right? No, no you can't catch it through vinyl and paint. Cowgirl is another good one because I guess they're facing the other way reverse or, cow drill. Uh, yeah, yeah, and sweet. or the rider position rider i'm not sure which way they're riding but two out of three of these <laughs> i've noticed your missus is facing in the opposite direction so what they're trying to say is if you want to keep your sex life vibrant and good don't fuck your missus fuck someone you can actually stand to look at <laughs> lee's in a very negative yeah, mood today Sessions will be capped at 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Who, who lasts 15 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> How long do you last, Lee? With no Lee? kissing. With no kissing, because you can't have kissing. That's right, no because kissing, because that's contamination. Who, How long oh. do you usually last, Lee? I, I go hours. Oh. Oh, really? Is that because you like have the, trouble? I, like, I, like, 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 I like, like to boast, but in the morning, yeah, it's like someone's just hit her with the sandpaper gun. Now, I just want to... <laughs> 
<laughs> is it that? Is it? <laughs> you, you have trouble finishing. The organisation has advised that fifteen minutes and no kissing, because this is the bit I love, Dave. Because you imagine if your wife is a sex worker and she comes home from the day at work and she's been blowing cock, come in the face, fucking ass cock, ass up, cock up the ass, ATM, then sucks on it, and she goes, "Baby, give us a kiss," and it's like, oh well. That's okay, baby. I'll kiss you because at least I know you haven't kissed anybody today. <laughs> even, though you're fucking, even though you've had 10 loads blown in your fucking mouth, I still feel like you love me. Because, of course, you never kissed them. I feel so fucking special. <laughs> you're fucking tossing their fucking salad and shit. Oh. Uh, but yeah. This is, hey, I'm only reading from the MSM pages here, Dave. This is, this is fucking. World news. Yeah. Well, there must be, it must be accurate then, right? Now, all right, let's, let me ask, let's switch to the topic of the day because I don't have that much time. I know you got to go to the gym and work out too. Do, does Lee Priest believe in UFOs? Yes. You yes, do. I do. Do you believe that there are aliens, not like Mexicans or, or anything like that, I'm talking about aliens from outer space that have come to our planet and that are intermingling with us and there have there been alien encounters? Do you believe that? I do because I've always, ever since I was young, I used to do projects at school on UFOs. I remember there used to be a TV show, Project Blue Book, like an early version. Yeah. But now I think on Netflix they've actually, excuse me, got the newer version called Project Blue Book and it's actually based on the actual cases and this doctor Mm. Lensky or whatever it was that went around to try to disprove them. A lot of them they couldn't disprove. So, yeah, because, you know, before in the old days, they go, well, someone saw a light in the sky, they go, nutcase, this and that. But you watch all these documentaries. I think Amazon Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, right. they got they got tons of these documentaries. And sure. you have that Bob Lazard that said he worked at Area 51 and he saw the UFOs where they reverse engineering. Now, uh -huh. granted, some of the things we see probably are military experimental craft that we don't right. know about. I remember when the big B-2 wing bomber was up there and stuff, people saw these triangular lights. And, you know, we're going back into the 80s when they had the stealth bomber, but they didn't tell us we had it till like mid-2000. <laughs> right, so exactly. God knows, God knows what they have now. But you know, when you see the whole Roswell thing, and you have a town like Roswell that – you know, they got no reason to lie. They saw UFO craft. They saw it taken away. They saw bodies. And then the next day, you got poor Jesse Marcel. It was a weather balloon. And, like, <laughs> even his family said that he brought pieces home, you know, like that foil they could scramble up. And when they let it go, it flattened out. And these blue pieces of metal that had, like, riding on, like, hieroglyphics. And look, there's so many people. And when you talk to them, like, top fighter pilots, fucking astronauts, you know, these aren't stupid people. If you have fucking Tom and John from down in Alabama go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might think this guy's had a bit too much fucking moonshine and he's fucking seeing lights in the sky. You know, he's probably saw Swamp Thing as well coming out raping his missus, having kids like the hills have eyes. But no, I think... I think there are UFOs that... Well, look at the universe. I, I've got this app on my TV called the Hubble Telescope. Right. And sometimes when I'm bored, I sit down and look at it. Cool. And it just shows you how far this telescope can see into outer space. And right. you're talking about millions of light years and then the amount of different other galaxies that you could go sure. into, which is beyond them and black. The thing that we're the only life force out there is just ridiculous. And if we are the only life form out there, we're fucked because we're fucking retarded, that's for sure. And that means, <laughs> that means all of us. Could, yeah. could you imagine if, like, this is it? If we, us humans, are the superior species? Yeah. And to me, I think the aliens come down. Like, they might have, who knows, put us here as an experiment. And now when we see a ship fly by, they're probably just going through the galaxy. Oh, that's Earth. Let's swing on by. Let's have a laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the fuckwits down there. Fucking look at them. That was the biggest fucking mistake we ever made. <laughs> fucking world, a fucking world full of fucking mongoloid cunts killing each yeah. other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's you, go back and tell yeah. That You know, it's funny because I was watching this interview uh, Patrick Bet David did with a, um, an expert on uh, UFOs and uh, alien life. Uh, he's a, actually a medical doctor who now is devoting his life to this because he's had uh -huh. encounters before 
with these with other creatures and he, he says similar stuff to what you're saying and you know he said think about it you know every, we're always worried about hostile alien life coming to this planet we're the hostile life because higher That's intelligent right. life is not going to come here and try to conquer they don't need to you know they they understand yeah. they've they've evolved past <laughs> that you know I think know. about it, it they it, could it, be a hundred thousand years more evolved than we are oh you know? my god they're so far advanced than us we're just like entertainment to them oh yeah we're like that fucking little retarded kid with polio <laughs> tap dancing on stage in a fucking wheelchair da, 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 da. think about it we're fighting over like land and and religion and and meanwhile, these guys are like, they're like laughing their asses off probably because they're like, what a bunch a of dummies. Ago, a month ago, the UFOs flew past and go, shh, shh, come here, come here, <laughs> K1X2. That's his name, K1X2, the alien. K1X2, come here, look at this. Guns are fighting over toilet paper. <laughs> you won't fucking believe this shit. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. And like you said, they're that far advanced. If they really wanted to, they could push one fucking button and wipe us all out. Right. I think we're here for entertainment. It's like, you know, when you sit at home with your snakes or a fish bowl <laughs> and you just sit there and watch them swim around thinking right. these fish are dumb. They've got no brain. They go around in a circle and they forget <laughs> where they are. That's like humans. Yep. We start wars. We kill people. Years later, you forget the destruction and the, what the war caused. Oh, well, let's start another war. I didn't accomplish anything the first time. Right. Let's do it again. Yeah. So it, it, there was a Vance life form. We're just entertainment to them. And then there are other things too, what they used to say that, you know, because, you know, some people really believe in religion, you know, the <coughs> crazy ones. And they believe that, you know, because if, say they did come out and say, yes, look, we have aliens, we have life forms, that would throw religion into fucking disarray. Right. They'd have to fucking rewrite the fucking book. Oh, fuck, well, Noah, that wasn't fucking Noah. And you look back at the, this is what I love, there's so many documentaries. Have you ever seen those documentaries where they show, like, thousands and thousands of years back where they'll have these cave paintings? And on the cave painting, you'll have, like, the drawing of a caveman with a stick in his hand chasing a wild deer or buffalo or whatever yeah. it is. But then in the sky, they have painted a dish-shaped object with like a humanoid person sitting in it. Now you're thinking, this is thousands of years ago. How would they know about a dish-shaped object right. flying in the sky? There's so many things like that. So to think that we're the only ones out there is just fucking ludicrous. Well, I, I don't want to think we're the only ones out there because even as far as space goes, we can talk about even the ocean. There's probably so many species of fucking oh, yeah. fish and whatever, at the deepest parts of the ocean that we don't even know about. You go down to that Mariana Trench or whatever it is, how deep that is, because yep. even some of those documentaries believe that UFOs do come up from under the ocean. There have been lights seen coming from the bottom of the oceans and stuff like that. So, yes, Dave, I do believe. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm saying the reason I even brought it up is because the, because the interview is terrific. If you go over to Patrick at David's channel and you check it out, um, the guy is like, like I said, he's a super smart guy. He doesn't seem like a cuckoo to me. Uh, mm -hmm. And and whatever he says, it seems like it, it, it makes sense. You know, he was saying that, you know, uh, Patrick McDavid's like, well, how, how in the hell can people come from these distant galaxies and travel millions and millions of light years that should take, you know, thousands of years to get here? Um, how did it, he goes because aliens well, because other life forms don't travel linear, linearly they don't go from yeah. point A to point B they they can almost like transport by warping space yeah, and, but it's almost like I watched a good documentary yeah. on it had to do with Tesla and all that and yes you know like yes. bending they can almost right. like bending describe space. as like bending they can like bend time and space so like you said they're not going a distance like this they can actually bend it so they can go a short distance, yeah, which like could be 100 million years, but they can travel it in a fucking one hour and stuff like that. And, and in fact, there were some, some of the shit Tesla invented, like the death ray and all these other rays when he made that thing where he actually attached it to a building. It was only like this big and it actually shook a building and almost vibrated the building to the ground. It could cause yeah. earthquakes and stuff. There's so much tech, technology that Tesla had that they're using now and those sound guns that can just, you know, immobilize people just from sound right. waves and bring yeah. people down. So, yeah, then I was watching, there's a good one too, I forget what it was called, but it was on the whole, they captured a space alien craft and how they've still been trying to reverse engineer it to try to get it to fly and stuff like that. So, 
you know, if you don't believe in it, that's fine. But to just think, as we said, the universe is, they keep saying it's expanding, like it just keeps expanding, expanding, expanding. So to think that, you know, we're this tiny, like, grain of sand in this whole big universe full of millions of galaxies, to think we're the only life in it, if we are, we're fucked. As <laughs> simple as that. <laughs> if we're meant to be the superior beings, we are fucked. Little fucking E.T. eating his M&M's has more fucking brains than us. That's what I say. The fucking alien versus predator should fucking come down and wipe it. That's the thing, too. People go, well, but if we told the human people about it, they would go nuts. But, you know, I've mentioned that before. All these movies that have come out from the dawn of time, I think they're slowly to condition us on about world happenings, bombs, contagions, fucking UFOs and shit. So when finally shit does happen, it's not such a shock. You're like, oh, yeah, I saw a movie about that, you know. Sure. And the thing is, too, they try and make it like Independence Day. Yeah. They're all coming down. But they had that movie the day after tomorrow, remember? It was an yeah. original one, and then Keanu Reeves made another one where when you speak to a lot of these guys and some of these, like I said, they always interviewed a fucking hick from the South, Rash, or UFO, but yet there's so many top NASA scientists, top fighter pilots, top airline pilots who have all seen them. Astronauts have even seen them. It's like, these people aren't fucking crazy. They're top of their field. And, and the ones who reckon they have come down, they've actually come down to warn us, listen, stop what you're doing. The way you're going now with nuclear war and this and that, you're going to destroy yourself. We're here trying to warn you not to. And, you know, I think even some, which president was it? Was it Eisenhower or... One of those presidents, too, they even said they believed in UFOs and looked into it and did a study on it and believed that they still had them and stuff like that. So, right. yes. Look, you've only got to look at some of the bodybuilding stages and the people online. Right, that was my next question. I was going to say, are there any bodybuilders who might quite possibly be aliens, do you think? Well, you know, if, if we're going back, you know, some look like they've got aliens in their stomach, like they're about to pop out. <laughs> no, 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 not that. I'm talking about people that might be legitimate aliens, you know, parading as bodybuilders. Well, since you brought it up, Dave, I guess this is the time for me to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That's where my line of questioning was going. You are an alien, aren't you? <laughs> nanu, nanu, nanu. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I want to say, I commend you on your shirt today, Dave. See, this is how I knew it, because I'm an alien. Look, that matches my Ooh, nails. Oh, purple, purple. Wow. We're, on, we're, we're psychically uh, linked up. Maybe you are an alien. Think, so, get ready. I'm going to do this. Think of it. Don't tell me. Think of a number between 1 and 10. Think of a number between 1. Don't say it. Think of it hard. Ready? Yeah. 7. That's it. I swear to God. Swear on my mother's life. Grave. Do it to me. See that? Do it to me. Do it. Tyler wants to think of one now. Okay. Okay. I can't see Tyler, so it could be hard. Hold on. Think <laughs> you might not it, be Tyler. as psychically think linked to Lee as me think here. It. Show Dave the number with your fingers if you want, so Dave yeah. knows if you're being truthful. Okay. Four. Yes. Holy yes. Shit. Yes. Okay. I swear. Okay. I swear Tyler showed me four fingers. All right. Wow. All right, let's quit while you're ahead, Lee, because you got two for two. Now, see that? See that? Now the government's going to be after me. The secret's out. <laughs> Lee Priest on, is an alien. Hold on, Dave. I'm getting another message from you. I'm getting another message. I got to write you. this down. That's the title of the show. I'm getting another message from you, Dave. <laughs> You can you can suck it when the camera. Ah, on. <laughs> don't don't blow it. You you was two for two. Don't blow it. No I'm gonna think of a person. See if you can tell me who I'm thinking about. A person. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. G. No, Big Lenny. All right, Look, we should have quit while we were ahead. <laughs> no, but you know a lot of people think Lee because they say how could aliens do warp space and that's science fiction. Think about it. In two hundred, e in a hundred years, think about where we've come technology-wise. If you showed a cell phone to someone a hundred years ago, they think you were you were some kind of a magician, or or you were an alien from another planet. So, in a thousand years, what do you think the technology will be that we have on on traveling to other planets? We can't. We can't even. We can't even work out how they built the fucking pyramids. So it's like, you know, like, <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. Pro the technology is progressing so quickly. 
the, the thousand oh. years, we'll be at these other galaxies. We'll push a button in a machine and oh. it'll transport us over there. I believe well, I wouldn't that. be surprised if I've already got it. You look back to that, there's a great documentary that even made a movie about it where it's all documented. You can look it up. Mm -hmm. Remember when they did the Philadelphia experiment? Oh, I love that, that movie. Yeah. Where that ship had that cloaking device where they... Wasn't that the final countdown? On. Wasn't that the movie? The Was it the final countdown? I think that one was called the final countdown yeah. and one was called the Philadelphia experiment. Yeah. And the whole ship actually disappeared yeah. in that it's haze of fog. And when it reappeared, so many of the sailors were sick and died, and actually it's documented that some of the alien, aliens, the humans, when the ship reappeared, like their body was fused into the deck of the ship. Oof. So like, this might have been the deck of the ship and half of their body was above uh. it, and the other half. If, if you look into it, it's all documented there, the Philadelphia yeah. experiment on how they were experimenting with these cloaking devices to make ships disappear and shit, and yeah. you think, it, now, where does some of that technology come from? When you look how quick some of the advancements have gone with the Blackbird and the bombers and shit right. and the shape of them and stuff, it's like, you know, they got shit out there. It's like, and then I like when they say, we're going to release the papers from Area 51. <laughs> they, have a page, they have a page this big that says, yeah. Sergeant, Sergeant Smith and the other 20 lines are all blacked out. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh, oh. What the fuck's the point in releasing that paper? Yeah. You can't fucking read it. By the it. fact that they don't want to release it tells you that there's there's something there, obviously. Because if they, there's nothing there, they would just release it. They wouldn't care. So so. And the thing is now, too, it's like in the beginning, yes, years and years ago, I remember when um, on the radio, awesome, was it Awesome Wells did that report about War of the World yeah, saying yeah. aliens are attacking. And he did that live broadcast. And yeah, people, people thought it was real. And people... Yeah. People actually committed suicide jumping off buildings. Yeah, and I shit know, I know. crazy. A lot of yeah, aliens were attacking. But this day and age, I think we're that far advanced, and we've seen movies, we've seen documentaries. That if they finally come out and said, "Listen, we have had contact. They are friendly. They're not here to hurt us." Right. I don't think anyone would really care anymore. No. It's like, yeah, it would be. It would like, be an interest. It would be. People would be interested. In doing it, but you know what it is—the government has always been like that. Notoriously, they think that we're not we're not smart enough and we're not uh, mature enough to handle uh, stuff, and they decide well, what they should tell us and what they shouldn't. Just like with the COVID we thing believe, and everything that's going on now, you know. Uh, we believe there's a silly virus going around now that fucking kills people all the time, and you got to stay in lockdown yeah. and shit. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Well, maybe why we're all in maybe why we're all in lockdown and moving the UFOs on the back of trucks across country so we don't see them. Since <laughs> yeah, true. Since you are an alien, is there any other are there any other aliens in the IFBB that I that we should know about? I don't know, but I did see a thing come up the other day. I forget what movie star it was. I'm sure you've seen these two where it says such and such is an alien. If you look at their eyes, they've got lizard eyes. Their yeah. eyes change. <laughs> That's called plastic sur too much plastic surgery, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's any aliens in the, in the sport because when you look at the sport, look to me, aliens would be advanced. They would be smart. That's true. When yeah. you look at body, when you look at bodybuilding, everyone's a dumb cunt. So if we are, <laughs> if we are aliens, we're like the fucking Down syndrome rejects. They kick you know, maybe, you know, maybe like, Nasser. You know, Maybe Nasser El Sambadi was a, was a, was an alien. Here in Australia, if you have a problem child or someone you think can't take care of, uh. you put in a special home called a, you know, mental hospital. <laughs> aliens, what they do is if they have retarded aliens, send the cunt to Earth. Send there the cunt go. to Earth. That's right. That's right. <laughs> We're like the reject yeah. planet. That yeah. They just fucking put that's, us all. That's that's us. And, and Australia is is the the reject the reject part of the reject planet, right? Isn't that where all the rejects oh. went? Exactly. Where are the criminals? The, <laughs> the drag of society went there. <laughs> the penal colony. <laughs> exactly. And don't, oh, don't, don't. Now, now you're talking. That's, you know, <laughs> Steve Blackman would love to be sent to a penal colony. <laughs> <laughs> and on that Brain. note, maybe Blackman's an alien. That's a possibility. Oh, he is. Hey, hey mate. When, when it comes to black men and anal probing, <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's none, none of my business. Oh, man. We lo we love you, Lee. Uh, what what would, what is your real true alien name? Do, can you uh, fill us in on that? Kalel. Kalel. <laughs> there you go. And Lee finally reveals his uh, secret identity. 
I'm Dave Palumbo for Tyler Shore for another edition of Iron Rage. See you next week.